Hi friends, it's Rosie and in this video, I'm going to share how to make a southern hummingbird cake. You will need three large ripe bananas. Make sure they're ripe because you want that rich flavor from the ripe bananas. You're going to chop up the bananas and then you're going to puree them until it's nice and smooth just like this. You're also going to need some crushed pineapple. Make sure they're crushed because you don't want chunks. You'll also need some pecans and you don't want chunks so we're going to ground these pecans nice and fine just like this. We will be using some buttermilk and you will need one full cup of that buttermilk. Okay so for my dry ingredients we're going to need a couple cups of self rising flour. Add your self rising flour into a large bowl and next we're going to sprinkle in some ground cinnamon followed by some ground nutmeg. Once everything is in the bowl, stir it, and then off camera, I'm going to sift these ingredients. So now we're moving along to our wet ingredients, and all of my wet ingredients are at room temperature. We're starting off with some vegetable shortening and some butter. I'm going to cream those two together, and now I'm going to add some granulated sugar. Pour that granulated sugar into the bowl. I'm going to grab my handheld mixer and cream the sugar along with the butter and shortening. And next, I will be adding in my eggs. Not just one egg, not just two, but you will need five whole eggs for this recipe. And now I'm going to add in my vanilla. And as you know, I love using pure vanilla, not imitation going to mix those ingredients until everything is nice and smooth and now I'm going to add in my pureed bananas my crushed pineapple and my ground pecans I'll use my kitchen utensils to fold those ingredients in and now I'm going to start adding in my dry ingredients and I'm going to alternate by adding the dry ingredients and then the buttermilk so just alternate between the two until everything is in the bowl and nicely mixed so my cake batter is nice and smooth, good to go. I'm going to spray my cake pans with some baking spray. Then I'm going to place my cake batter into my bake pans. And this recipe is going to make three nine inch cakes. We're going to bake the cakes on 350 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. And don't forget, if you want the complete measurements, come visit me at my blog at iheartrecipes.com and the recipe and measuring and all that other good stuff will be there. So my cakes are done. I'm going to let them cool completely before I frost them. And speaking of frosting, I will simply be using a cream cheese frosting. All you need is cream cheese, some butter. You'll also need some vanilla and some confectioner's sugar. And that's it, it's really easy. And that recipe is also available on my blog as well. Okay, so now it's time to frost my cakes. And I have a confession to make. And that confession is I really suck at decorating cake and I'm really not that um, great at frosting either but I'm going to act like this is the best looking cake ever and hopefully you all go along with my act so yeah again this is going to be a three layer cake as you can see that's why we made three cakes and I am just going to try my best to make sure the cake is somewhat presentable let it sit for a while before you dig in and I didn't follow my own rule I was so greedy I had to try this cake or should I say I had to eat it because this is one of my favorite cakes and this cake was unbelievably moist fluffy it was the perfect cake if you have not tried a hummingbird cake a southern hummingbird cake at that be sure to give this recipe a try. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would love to keep in touch. See you all soon.